been looking for this one. Excuse me. Are you talking to me? Yes, I am. What do you think you're doing? Well, we all are. Browsing the book collections. But you can't possibly afford that. You shouldn't even be touching it. How do you know what I can and can't afford? Oh, please, it's so obvious. Yeah. yeah, that's an autographed copy. It's way out of your price range. Again, are you a mind reader? You seem to be pretty quick to judge a perfect stranger. Hardly. I've been coming to the store for years. I've never seen you in here. I'm good friends with the owner. He does a thorough vetting to make sure his rare books go to only just the right people. So. Interesting. <laughs> I thought reading was for everyone. It is. Which is why, if you'd like to find a book in your price range, I'd recommend you head to the public library. And that's where everyone goes. For those of us who want a higher level of experience, well, we come here. Believe me, I go to the public library too. But when I'm looking to expand my personal collection, I prefer to come here. Your personal collection? What's in it? How to dress to unimpress? <laughs> Well, I ran into a bit of an interesting situation this morning. There was a woman looking for work and she didn't have anything to wear for an interview. So I gave her my jacket and she gave me her sweater as a trade. She was really appreciative that and I was so happy to help her. That story is supposed to convince me? But you're saying how you're hanging around with out of work people and then you expect me to believe you can afford that book. I bet you have a bridge to sell me too, huh? Hardly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to get back to browsing the books. I've been looking for this one for... Look, I... I can't in good conscience let you walk away with this book, yeah. It's autographed, after all. You need to give that right back. It is one thing for you to insult me because of what I'm wearing. It is quite another for you to take something from my hands. Oh, yeah, well... What's to stop me from just buying this right now? Well, I will, for one, Rob. This is no way to treat a lady, especially not one of my very best customers. <laughs> what do you mean, very best customer? She's never been in here before. Yes, she has. You just don't recognize her since she's not wearing her usual clothing. Eleanor has been coming here for how long now? 10 years, I guess. I don't know, maybe more. As I was telling Rob here, I've been trying to build out my personal collection. He just didn't seem to want to believe me. I will say that is a very nice sweater. <laughs> I was helping someone out this morning. She needed some business attire and I gave her my jacket. She gave me her sweater. It's not my usual style, but it's nice to have a change all the same. Interesting, too, to see how you might be treated differently. Hmm. I wouldn't call it interesting, just unfortunate. Look, I'm not a... Okay? She just looked like someone who was going to make off with one of your rare books, Owen. Or, or someone who wasn't really going to appreciate it. I know what this is. I know it's valuable. You're right. It is. I think you need to return it to the lady who found it first. Whatever. Doesn't look the highest grade anyway. I'm sure it's overpriced. Actually, it looks like I put the wrong sticker on it. What? You're right, Owen. There's no way you'd be selling an autographed copy like this for only $20. That's far too low for a book this rare. Oh, and I'd be more than willing to pay you what it's worth. But I seem to remember you saying I was overpricing my items. You see, I take offense to that. As you should. Owen has always priced things fairly when I purchase books from him. Obviously, I didn't mean it. I was just annoyed that you made me give the book back. 
Jeez, neither of you can take a joke. I guess neither of us thought your judgment of us was very funny. No, we really didn't. Well, Owen, as you know, I think you're always fair when you price books. Can you tell me what the actual price for this book is? 20 bucks. Oh, come on. <laughs> Be honest. Nope. That's the cost. Especially after what you've been through to get it. I'll always honor my prices. Are you sure? I don't mind paying the actual price. I've been looking for this for such a long time, and I'm sure it was hard for you to find. Please, you deserve it. I like knowing that my books are going to someone who will appreciate them. Much like what Rob here was so deeply concerned about today, I just handle it differently. You know, as a loyal customer, you'd think that I'd get some of these perks. You know, or maybe I just won't come here anymore. Honestly, Rob, I'd be perfectly fine with that. You see, I'd prefer all of my customers feel that this is a safe and welcoming place when they come in. And you're not really making me feel comfortable that you can do that after the way you treated Eleanor today. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm one of your best customers, and I'm a very respected person in the community. You don't want to lose my business. While that may be true, I simply cannot have you driving away other customers based on your own biases. This is a store that prioritizes kindness and respect for all patrons. I would not be upholding that if I allowed you back after today's incident. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm going to tell people to just not come here anymore. Then I'll be sure to let everyone know why you're not allowed back if you start badmouthing the store. I believe you're ready to check out. Right this way.